Welcome marketing chefs. I've got something truly special cooking in the Omni Channel oven today. Can a larger company have a brand advantage in a local market if they employ a localized marketing strategy? Up next in the Marketing Kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen, the marketing kitchen. Hi, I'm Ron Vining, your host of Marketing Kitchen TV. Thank you for your question. If you'd like me to answer a question here on Marketing Kitchen TV, all you need to do is go to the at Marketing Kitchen TV on Twitter, use the hashtag Q&A, and I will answer your questions here. Let's take a look at this question. Do you think a larger company can have a local brand advantage if they apply a local marketing strategy? And I certainly think that a larger company can definitely have an advantage over a local firm if it applies a local strategy. A famous politician from the Beacon Hill area named Tip O'Neill, who became the U.S. Speaker of the House, said this, all politics is local. I want to apply this to the idea or the concepts looking at globalization, localization, and personalization which is, I believe, the framework from where this question comes from. A local player certainly knows the market better than an international brand. Anytime a, a local player is up against a national brand, they might automatically have what we'd say in sports would be a, a home court advantage or home field advantage, depending upon, uh, or home ice advantage, home stadium advantage depending upon the sport of your choice. And I'm sure I left some out. A large company, so think about a multinational corporation, while they may not be so agile or so nimble or may not have the flexibility to change, what they do have are resources. They have budget, they have the ability to hire or outsource. They have the ability to bring in influencers. You as a local brand can certainly be threatened by a multinational corporation because they have the ability to scale that you may not. They may have the ability to adapt due to their volume more quickly than you do, more quickly in terms of manufacturing, by again outsourcing to a local firm who may be a competitor of yours and now has an influx of cash by hiring influencers in the local market have more visibility than your local brand does as well. The smaller local player may have an initial advantage. The larger brand, especially if they wanna come in, dominate the market, they do have the resources to do so. I'm not saying that they will be smart enough to do that or internal politics won't get in the way. For myself, it's always about understanding these concepts. And I actually talk about it in the blog that I wrote called Social Growth Via Value Added Content. One of the things that you always wanna do is understand who your audience is. It's about understanding your audience, it's about understanding the channel, and it's about understanding the message. Who is it that you're talking to? How is it that you'll be talking to them? And then what will you be saying? The reason why I say it that way, because who it is, is their likes, their wants, their needs, their preferences. So that would be the local aspect of the strategy. The channel is, in this local market, they may utilize or make use of one channel or channels that you're not familiar with. For example, Facebook would not be the best channel, the social channel to operate in, in markets like Thailand. There, they would prefer Line. It's about understanding the local channel, getting on that channel, being able to converse with them. If you are a big brand coming in immediately into Thailand and you don't have a footprint online, that's not a problem. You would hire influencers who have big footprints online. Just like if Instagram or Snapchat were the channel you were going for, then you would hire influencers who are big on those particular platforms. The last piece there is message because the audience and the channel dictate how it will be said. That's why I always say message last. It's really about understanding the audience, understanding their channel, and then understanding how to craft the right message on that channel to reach that audience. And if a multinational brand employs that localized uh, approach, then they can certainly be successful. Very interesting question. I hope that I was able to quickly address that for you. Thank you for your question. If you'd like me to answer a question here on Marketing Kitchen TV, all you need to do is go to the at Marketing Kitchen TV on Twitter, use the hashtag Q&A, and I will answer your questions here.
I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, there's always fresh content simmering on our storytelling stovetop. So whatever happens in this kitchen shouldn't stay in this marketing kitchen. I'm Ron Vining, your host, reminding you to invite your family and friends to the next episode of Marketing Kitchen TV.